it's Megan. Today, I'm going to show you how I spent my Sunday creating something beautiful with my own two hands. I recently bought the DIY 1940s train cabin by an Avrin, and I just had to share it with you. As I started popping out the different parts, I was relieved to see that they were numbered. No need to worry about placing them wrong. And if something does go missing, don't worry, an Avrin's got us covered with some extra pieces just in case. The assembly process was surprisingly easy and as fun as I knew it would be. The pieces fit together perfectly and it's impressively sturdy for a miniature replica. Plus, no need for glue, everything either locks in, slides in, or sticks on as easily as you could hope. There are different scenery options available, but I chose the one that was mostly blue because I'm a sucker for the sky. In my opinion, Anavern really went above and beyond in creating this DIY 1940s train cabin. I mean, the attention to detail is just amazing. If I were a Lego person, here's where I'd spend most of my Sundays riding in a train cabin on my way back from the bookstore across town. One thing I did not expect was how satisfying the building and decorating process would be. From assembling the many different parts to decorating them with perfect fit stickers, I couldn't stop smiling as I moved from section to section. I must admit that I was a bit nervous about setting up the motor, but it was much easier and quicker than I expected. Wiring everything together was a breeze, and before I knew it, my train cabin was ready to roll. The beauty of this moving miniature masterpiece is simply breathtaking. It's the perfect addition to your bookshelves, mantelpieces, bedside tables, and more. I had so much fun making this, and I feel proud to have created something so beautiful with my own hands, with the help of an Avrin, of course. Thank you for joining me, lovelies. I hope this inspires you to try making something beautiful and unique for yourself. See you in the next one!